Well, Happy New Beer, everyone. It's actually New Year's Day, actually New Year's Night. I'm going to celebrate with a new beer from Stone. I love Stone. And uh, this is the Double Bastard Bigger, Longer, Uncut. Uh, it's it's uh, aged in Isla Scotch whiskey barrels. Um, very difficult to find. It's 13% alcohol. There are a few reviews now out there. Uh, which are quite interesting, so we'll see. Jonathan from um, Crafty Beer Reviews is there. Just watch this. Really great. Take a look at that. Um, Isla Single Malt's very interesting. I don't really like them. Uh, I used to drink a lot of single malt. I like the space side, like the Macallan. Uh, that's more. That's more what I like. Okay, but actually now for whiskey, I drink mostly. Bourbon. <laughs> okay, I have a double bastard ale glass. I don't know if this is going to work for this, but let's give it a shot. This is pretty warmed up. I'm interested to see. Very, um, it's like half a finger ahead, kind of like a caramel type of. Uh, Color. I, I see carbonation on this thing from the bottom. It's American Strong Ale. They even call it that. That's kind of a catch-all phrase. You can actually smell the aroma right, right from here. <laughs> this is like really peaty, which I like. I love peat. This is actually, this is the peatiest beer I have ever, ever encountered. It's smoky and peaty, just like single malt. I was once actually uh, drinking a Macallan. I haven't had it for quite a while. And, you know, it's it also had a peaty... Um, character to it, and you could just, just open the bottle and smell it right away. Smell the fire in this, the, the peat, burning peat. Oh my god, I love it. Extreme, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't like this beer. Um, I love this friggin' beer. Okay. And I don't drink Isla, Isla um, single malt. But God, there is so much in this damn beer. Let's start. First of all, there is some hoppiness and bitterness. Not a lot. To the... Uh, to the mouthfeel and finish. But what I noticed right away is I was I could taste the peat and the smoke right away. <laughs> ah. Oh yeah. This is strong shit. This is I don't, it's not like drinking whiskey, but there's like, a, you know, a single malt, but it's, it's very damn close. Um, you know, you get some of that peat with, with like engine oil, which is, uh, I can't think of the brewery right now, it's Scotland, but, um, this is, uh, it is beer, 
and it tastes like beer. And it has a relatively smooth mouthfeel, but it's... Some of the other reviewers said um, it's really not for everyone, and if you don't like whiskey, uh, don't buy this. If you like whiskey, as I do, as I, I have a lot of whiskey over the years, I love whiskey, and I love blended whiskey. I do drink a lot of Johnny Walker Black and uh, Red. Um, even though it's blended, it's awesome. Um, and this is something else. A little more here. Oh yeah, it's getting deep, and I warm this up. And there is a slight vanilla kind of. It's okay. And the, the finish is extraordinary. Okay. Now, ratings. This is like a 95 or a 96, which I rarely give beers. This may not be up your alley. The stronger and the more extreme, that's right up my alley. <laughs> you know. Bud Light, that's not up my alley. That's like, why drink it? Um, <clears throat> the other end of the spectrum, of course, is extreme. And um, that's this. This is incredible craft. If you see it, try it. So I'm going, uh, I'm going to warm this up even a little more. Take a long time to drink it. Uh, great beer, in my opinion. Not for everyone. So, life is too short to drink bad beer. Remember that. And keep trying all the new beers you can. Keep craft going. And until we meet again, Good, healthy 2017. Cheer.